Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. Okay, so to begin, I'm on Google here, and I'm just going to click on my search. I'm going to search for Windows 11. I'm going to search for Download. Okay, so I'm going to come down to Download Windows 11 here on Microsoft. And what I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for the ISO image. So I'm going to select uh, this Multimedia Edition. I'm going to click Download now. And it's going to look for my language. So I am going to say English and I want to click confirm. And we can see this link is valid for 24 hours. So I'll click the download then. And we can see this download is beginning. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll be sure to uh, pause the recording here and we'll meet back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so my Windows 11 is finally downloaded. It took quite a while. It's about, about maybe half an hour. Let, let me know how, how long yours took in the comments. But yeah, it took a while. Um, so yeah, I've, I've opened VirtualBox here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to look to create a new machine. So I'm going to click Machine up here. I'm going to click New. I'm going to call it Windows 11. And it's going to look for an ISO image. So let me just look for where we downloaded that one too. So here it is here, Windows 11. So let me click on that. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip the unattended installation. So I can show you, um, you know, if you're doing this on, on a separate, you know, your own um, maybe laptop or something that's helpful. So let's just click next on this. And I'm gonna leave it at, yeah, four gigs of memory, two CPUs, click next. Create a virtual hard disk, leave this at 80 gigs, click next, and then we'll click finish. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to look to boot this up. And what I'll do is I'll just pause this. This might just take a second and we'll catch up here in just one moment. Okay, so let me, uh, we're back here now. So um, let me click cancel here because I just haven't got into boot in time. So let me just click enter to boot from, um, we want to boot from the CD-ROM. So let me click that and click enter again. And now we're going to try boot from, from that CD-ROM. So we should begin now, hopefully, to boot up from, from the CD-ROM. So let's just give this a moment here, and I'll, I'll click pause. OK, so we're looking good. I'm just going to leave everything as English United States, English United States. I'm based in Ireland, but I'm just doing this uh, for um, a test. So we'll click Next, and I'm going to click Install now. And uh, this might take a minute again, so let me, let me just pause things here for you guys so you're, you're not watching. So for me, I don't have a product key here. I'm just doing this for a test. I want to click I don't have a product key, but if you do, feel, feel free to add it. And I want to click Windows Home is absolutely fine for me. going to click Next. I'll accept the terms and conditions. I'll click Next. Um, I'm going to click Custom here, um, and then I'm going to click where it says Drive. That's where I'm going to put it. That's the 80 gig drive that I created. I'll click Next here. And this is it. It's going to start um, installing for me now. So again, this, this will take a couple of minutes. So let, let me pause the video again, and we'll catch up here in, in a few minutes. OK, so we're back here, which is great. Um, so it's asking you, it's asking you, and you could probably you could probably hear behind the scenes talking to me. Um, so first thing I'm going to select, I'm going to select Ireland here, and let me click yes. And let me just turn off the sound so we aren't interrupted again. Um, so yeah, so it will begin to, um, it's going to begin to do the installation now. So I've clicked Ireland, so let me just pause it. We'll probably jump in and out here a few times, so I'll just pause this. Okay, so we're back. I'm actually using a US keyboard, so I'll click yes to that. Um, no, I don't add a second layout, so let's just skip that. Um, yeah, so okay, we'll just give it a minute here, and then, then we click pause here again. Okay, we're back here again. So it's asking me to name my device. I'm just going to say uh, test, and I'll, I'll click next. Okay, it's just a moment here again, so we'll just, we'll just pause here while, while this is doing its thing. Okay, so we're back here. I'm being prompted to sign in, so I'm just going to click sign in. And um, you'll need to have a Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can create one. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause it here while, while I go through the uh, sign in, sign in options. OK, I'm back here. So it's looking if I want to do a backup, which I don't. So hopefully I have the option. Um, yeah, I'm going to click set up as a new PC. So I don't want to do any of this. So I'm going to do set up as a new PC. And then um, it's going to look for me to create a pin. So again, I, I, this is just really a, a test uh, for me, but let me pop something in. Okay, we'll click okay on that. Okay. 
Okay, let me pause this here again, guys. It's taking a minute. Oh, no, we're okay. Um, I want to say, no, don't use my location. And we'll click accept on that. I want to click, no, I don't want to do find my device. Why would I? Um, and I'm just going to say, um, required only, send back to Microsoft and click accept on that. Um, I'm going to click no on this. Up to yourself, have a read through, but I'm just going to click no to most of these. Um, yeah, advertising, no. You know, it is an operating system. I don't know why I'm getting asked for advertising, but let's just click no on that. Um, I don't want to customize. You can customize yours if you want to do that. I want to click skip. And hopefully we are nearly there now. It does take a while. Um, so let, let me just pause here again, guys, but hopefully nearly there. Okay, I'm going to click skip, use your PC from your phone. I want to click skip on that one. And um, yeah, I shall pause again. No, we're okay. I'm going to say don't back up my files. <laughs> I just want to install the operating system, so we'll keep going. Uh, no, I don't want to import anything. I want this to be a fresh install for, for me. Yeah, in true Microsoft style, we're going to get a couple of ads. I'm going to click skip for now. I don't want to have access to the, to the games. And now it's gone off to check for updates. So we'll just uh, pause the video again. And OK, guys, we are here. Um, so this is it. We finally have installed Windows 11 on VirtualBox. Um, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. And if I help, if I can help, I certainly will. And if it did help, please consider checking out my Patreon, which I'll leave the link to below. But I do hope that was helpful. And any issues, uh, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.